Legal battle is brewing over gay rights, this one dealing with therapy sessions aimed at changing a person's sexual orientation. And new at 5, Tinder's reporter Steve Fiorina shows us how the lawsuit in New Jersey could have a nationwide impact with a San Diego attorney already front and center. Sean Sala of San Diego went through sexual orientation therapy when he was 15. Well, it didn't work, obviously. <laughs> um, it's just nothing but a sham. He attended classes through his church and was terribly offended. The tactics were, you know, very uh, overbearing, weird, um, more like sexual harassment instead of actually trying to, like, fix an issue. And it's surrounded by ignorance when it comes to science and sexual orientation. Rancho Santa Fe attorney Charles Lamandry has a defense team trying to keep such therapies legal. He's defending Jonah, a Jewish-based organization that suggests a journey from unwanted same-sex attraction. Lamandry says both freedom of speech and freedom of religion are at stake. This lawsuit seeks to stop any type of assistance to people who are, uh, have homosexual inclinations, whether they're minors or adults, from getting that assistance from anyone. Many in the gay and lesbian community consider the treatment fraudulent. Uh, there's really no evidence that it works, and so it, it really is, is maddening to most people, uh, especially any you know, gay and lesbian individual who says, well, they're telling people that they can change when that's really not the case. Lamandry argues otherwise. We have pretty much unrefuted evidence that thousands of people have benefited from these types of programs, uh, many of whom feel that their lives are happier, they're more fulfilled now. But not Sean Sala. If it's not scientifically consistent, it can be detrimental and incredibly harmful like it was for me. I almost took my own life. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. California's new law banning reparative therapy for minors is on hold as the Court of Appeal is considering whether it's unconstitutional. It was to take effect January 1st.